Welcome back to Cut It With Hammer. The good news is, oh, it's just no longer broken. And, um, but I am, the, the shoulder problem has turned into be di diagnosed as frozen shoulder. So that just means it has a lot of uh, limited range of uh, movement, but um, so it's not gonna keep me from getting back in the shop. Now that I have two weeks of vacation that I'm spending and the weather's starting to get nice. So it's time to get back in the shop. Let's see what's going on. Today, we are going to look at the use of the parallel fence, which I unboxed in the last video. And then I'll just put that on the saw and I'll show you how to uh, take a rough cut board and make the sides parallel. So let's get started. So I have this, this piece of um, beetle kill pine that I've collected a whole bunch of at some point in the past. And we're just gonna use this to uh, try out the um, parallel fence. So I'm going to remove miter bar. Put on the ripping shoe, straight line ripping shoe. Make sure that we're gonna come away with a clean edge. And now we're going to put the miter back on. That end is flat enough for our purposes today. Well, I'm gonna square it up. And don't watch as I use the rip blade to do this.
And it looks like I can get nine inches out of this board. Seven and a half. Let's just go with seven and a quarter. Hold on. I'll set the minor on this end. That's on. Just the minor or the parallel fence. I'm going to bring it just, the blade touches it. I reset this. Okay. And adjust it to seven and a quarter. And there we go. Close enough. And there I have a board, seven and a quarter inches uh, wide. That's how you use the parallel fence. And like I mentioned, it's ideal to have two of those. You can use the miter fence on one end, and that's, that works. Uh, if I save up some pennies, maybe I can uh, get a second one. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the parallel fence. Um, my son didn't like the uh, Colorado State University hoodie I was wearing, so he sent me this. Thanks. If you enjoyed the video, 
like, subscribe, leave any questions or comments you have below, and we will see you in the next video.